So I've seen some people asking online how you can import custom fonts onto After Effects and this could be as a result of you running into this error while working on a project in After Effects. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import custom fonts into After Effects like a pro. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the font file of the custom font you want to install in After Effects. But in this case, I'm not trying to fix that error. So I'm not looking for a specific font. I just want to show you how to import a custom font. So um, one way to get a custom font is to go to a site called DaFont. I've dropped the link in the description down below. So while on the site, um, I'm just going to pick one of these nice looking fonts here. I think I like this one called Geranum. <laughs> so I'll just click on download. And um, after downloading it, you open it um, where you've downloaded it. And um, in this case, it's a zip file. It could be a RAW file. So you can check out our video on Mazitech how to extract a RAW file. But in this case, it's a zip file. So by default, the extractor or archive utility that comes with Mac works pretty well. So you can just use that. And um, after extracting it, you have um, the OTA file, which we are going to use. The next thing to do is double click on it. And just so you know, some fonts might come with several different files. They could be regular, bold and all. So you have to select or highlight all of them and click on install. In this case, it's just one file. So I'll just open it and click on install. Uh, it will take a couple of minutes. So, And once it's done, I think it's done so we can go to after effect now and um, try to use it so you can type in the text you want in this case i'm just going to select the type tool and type in the text hello um after doing that now you can select the you can highlight it and then search for the font that we downloaded um i think the name of that font was um let me check geranium so let's just search for Jera. And there it is. So once you select it, it's automatically going to apply to your text. And that's pretty much it. That's the way you can also fix the similar issue when you have that error. And you can also use it when you want to use a custom font. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.